Friday, November 19th, 2021. Our topic for today is before you make that vow. Before you make that, that vow. Our Bible reading is taken from Proverbs chapter 6, verses 1 to 5, and it says, My child, if you have put up security for a friend's debt, or agreed to guarantee the debt of a stranger, if you have trapped yourself by your agreement and are caught by what you said, follow my advice and save yourself, for you have placed yourself at, the, at your friend's mercy. Now swallow your pride and go and beg to have your name erased. Don't put it off. Do it now. Don't rest until, until you do. Save yourself like a gazelle, escaping from a hunter, like a bird fleeing from a net. And our memory verse is taken from Proverbs chapter 20, verse 25, and it says, Don't trap yourself by making a rash promise to God and only later counting the cost. So um, it says, Before you make that vow, before you make any vow, you need to ensure that it is a vow that you can keep. There are different kinds of vows. But before you make any vow, as a Christian, you should ensure that it's a vow that you can keep. Don't make it, make any vow that, you, you know, you already know you can't keep, but maybe to save face or to look um, like you're a nice person or you're a good person. So you just make that vow for the sake of it, but you know you can't keep it. Also, there are instances where people, they feel they may be able to make the vow, uh, keep the vow, but they are not so sure. So before you make any vow, be sure of what you are doing. Be sure that it's a vow that you are you can keep. Some people vow to send people, you know, people to school, and then when the time comes, they break the vow. Uh, some people, you know, make monetary vows. When the time comes, they break the vow. And unfortunately, sometimes um, people, as the Bible verse was saying, people stand as shorties and uh, you know guarantors, like in the in the in situation of you know when a loan, for instance, is concerned. So before you stand as a shorty or guarantor for someone who has taken a loan, do your investigations properly. Don't be emotional about it. Make sure that you know the person has capacity to repay the loan so that you don't put yourself in uh, in, in trouble. Uh, there are other vows like marriage vows. Before you make a marriage vow, be sure that you are ready. Before the, be sure that you're emotionally ready and ready in other ways required for you to be married. Before you accept, you know, um, to marry someone. Get to know about the person. Be sure you know the person. Do all your findings. Don't be desperate. Don't be in a hurry. Don't rush into it. And uh, you know, some people say, "Oh, I didn't know." When you know, when things happen in marriage, you say, oh, "Did you know?" I say, "No, I didn't know." Didn't you see the signs? No, I didn't see the signs. That's you know. There and when you look at the situation, you find out that it's something that you know, with a little bit of uh, checking here and there, you know, the things would have been discovered before. Um, getting married, so it's very, very important. You know, there are a lot of people uh, who's in in sheep clothing out there. They already know what they are set to do. They just want to get married to somebody and live their life as they please. So we need to be very careful. So many other, so many other areas. We need to be very careful that we don't fall victim of people who have no good intentions but go ahead to make vows for whatever reason or the other. It is my prayer that the Lord will help us. Usually people will fall into such traps. A lot, a lot of times it's out of you know, maybe desperation or uh, just being emotional. But it is my prayer that God will help us never to be desperate no matter the situation, whether financial, marital, in any situation. It's very important. That, it's my prayer that the Lord will give us the grace to rely on Him, to trust in Him and to wait for our time in every given situation. God bless you. If you've been uh, blessed by this video, like, share and subscribe. Have a beautiful day.